everyone happy holidays um i hope everyone had a very successful semester and are in the middle of their interview season and hope i'm hoping that you guys also receive many interview invites but you know for those who have not received anything this i just want to tell you guys that this was around the time when i started considering alternative routes for like podiatry you know you always gotta think of that backup plan and this time last year was when I started thinking about this. You know, if you have time right now, you know, look up podiatry, look up other fields where you might be interested in if medical school does not work out for you. Because personally, for me, I hate waiting uh, another semester or another year to get started. You know, I feel like that's a, a waste of time. I really encourage you guys to start looking at something else if you have not received that interview invite. Most importantly, once you guys do find some other field of interest, you guys should shadow. Shadow is very important because you don't know if, if that's really something that you want to do. In my class, there's been a couple people who maybe dropped out or left the program because of family emergency. Those people ended up paying price of the tuition for the first semester. It's really about commitment as well because if you're not committed, you're not going to put 100% of your work into it. I would hate to see that or hate to hear that you guys didn't make it past through the first semester if you're in, you know, my situation or something like that. So just make sure that you guys are 100% committed if this change of route is what you guys do pursue. In a change of subject, this previous semester, I took a total of 24.25 credits. I'm not sure about other colleges and universities, but back at Temple University undergrad, 18 was considered, 18 credits was considered overload. 24 credits is like six credits above the overload, overload mark. It's, it's just to give you guys like a comparison of how much work, extra work that we have to do for this upcoming semester, spring semester. I will be taking 26.5 credits. And for those who are interested in the kinds of classes that I'll be taking in the spring semester, I'll, let me tell you. <laughs> All right, so we have our lower extremity anatomy, which is gonna deal with the leg. We also have neurophysiology. We also have neuroanatomy, biomechanics, microbiology, fundamentals of podiatric practice one, and also physical medicine and rehabilitation. So those are those are the classes that I'll be taking. In retrospect, I thought that my first semester was pretty successful. I just wish that someone had told me more about what to expect in general anatomy because I remember walking in the first day in cadaver lab, I had no idea what I was doing. Even after being explained in the pre-lecture, I'm a professor, I still didn't know what I was doing. It wasn't until after the first exam when everything started connecting. I was like, oh, this is what we're supposed to do. This is what's going to be tested on. Like that, that, that didn't start clicking until after the first exam. So I wish I had a, a better start, but I'm, you know, I'm satisfied with how everything ended. So that's, that's the, that's the whole goal, right? Um, knowing more than you know before. So yeah, I hope that you guys are making progress. You guys are gonna do some research. Like, you know, if medical school doesn't work out, you guys will have a backup plan because I would hate to see you guys just waiting around doing nothing. So um, happy holidays, happy new year, and good luck on the upcoming semester. I will definitely be back letting you guys know how my semester will be going. See you guys.